Hi, hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. As you may see, I am wet. The reason why I'm wet like this is because at last it began the wet season here in Cairo and started started to um, started the winter. So wet season, it's like the new year. <clears throat> So here I am, I am enjoying, enjoying the water. So the information for today is somehow related to the things that we um, spoke yesterday. Mm -hmm. The topic for today is uh, confusion and it's related with the topics that we discussed yesterday because yesterday we said about all these stories, all the things that um, a lot of people is talking about and a lot of people is sharing um, there is so much information right now in, in the internet in YouTube in social media so many things that we have like we are doing now all the the things that we are receiving and and there is so many stories that um, we don't know really what is true and what is not and sometimes what we do what we basically do is to believe everything um, and that's what a lot of people are living today we have so much confusion because we don't know specifically where is the origin of all this that we receive that we read that we see in the network there's a lot of people that just believe in everything that is around there mm -hmm. so confusion <clears throat> so there's so much confusion today because of the of the huge amount of information that we are receiving constantly that we cannot know what is true um, anymore. Basically, um, we have to go to the origin of why we have this confusion so we can understand the origin of it and where we got all these confusions today. First of all, we have to understand that what we call information from the very beginning of humanity is not something that you take from the outside but information describes a process to get to the knowledge okay so first of all to understand how we start to create this information we have to understand the origin of the word the origin of the word information information comes from the latin information comes from the latin in formation is <laughs> basics okay is basics in formation so this means to be in the process of getting in form okay in form so information means the process of, of taking forms uh, of taking forms of something hmm? so it's is uh, the process of taking form of the things so when you take the information from the outside the data from the outside information is not the data from the outside so you have a data you have something outside and you absorb that data from the outside and the process of understanding that data you start to form to make shape of that data shaping the data would be to form the data okay <clears throat> that would be so when we speak about information this means that we are forming the inform forming the data trying to make it better okay so um so from the very beginning of humans of humanity the concept of being in of having information is not to catch things from the outside is to start to walk a path of experience to try to gain um, wisdom by the experience of life as you start to get in shape as you form yourself in life in a constant process of living hmm? so this process of information this process of being in shape as I evolve it's not born from the idea of the magical or the divine idea of finding yourself no it starts because of the needs 
And we have three basic needs that push us through evolution, which is hunger, the need for the, the need to be safe, and uh, to look a place where you can sleep. So to sleep, to eat, and to feel safe are the three main things that every human in the first uh, humans <coughs> walking around the planet, from that moment, they moved all the civilizations and cultures from those three basic needs. Hmm? So all the process of information would be from those three. Okay. So in the history of, of Homo sapiens sapiens, which has been the last 300,000 years, humans have been designing their cultures, their religions, their societies, their, 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 their civilizations, everything from these only three bases. To eat, to sleep, and to feel safe. Basically, we have uh, these three basic needs that creates every, everything, that creates all the, the, the concepts of our societies. And from that, from these three, we create one goal, which is to feel plenty in these three things. So we create a goal. If we accomplish that goal of commodity, it means that we had accomplished to, feel, to fulfill our food, to fulfill the place where we sleep, to fulfill our need of safety. And that only word is happiness, okay? Happiness. So uh, happiness would be the concept that makes you recognize that you accomplish these three needs. So this is why the pursuit of happiness is basically to fulfill these three main needs. So by acknowledging this, that these three main basic needs are looking for happiness, so religion, um, politics, the society will try to look to uh, will try to to um, to cover these three needs, so you feel the comfort of happiness. Mm -hmm. If religion accomplished to give you to give you these three uh, to take care of these three main needs, so. Comfortably, you will have faith and you will have faith in that religion because that religion gives you happiness. If it's a politician, politics that give you these three, so you will trust that politician, okay? Because you are comfortable now because someone gave the three basics to you. If I want to control the happiness of people, all that I have to do is to use what they eat, what they, where they sleep, and their safety. Main thing. By creating an enemy outside, the system creates the perfect solution for you to feel safe. Because by having an enemy outside, you will need someone to protect you which is safety, okay? So it's easy. The other thing, my house, my family, my cave, my land, my property. If, if I feel that someone can take that out, so I will trust anyone who says I will take care of that for you. And the, and the other one, by food, if someone comes and says, I will ensure the food, the three main foods that you have in your life in order to leave, so I will trust that person, my happiness, my life. By controlling these three, any other system, any system can control you. So this is why the, they, 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 would, they would say to you, I will make you happy. If you feel happy with me, it's all perfect. So <clears throat> this is why the I am in the, in, the, in the script today, he said, the pursuit of happiness, no, ha uh, yeah, the pursuit of happiness 
is the path of ignorance because whoever looks for happiness in life is just because you're looking for these three needs and that's it. So one important thing to know, um, <clears throat> don't think that, that now we should not look for happiness because that's ignorance. No, we are humans. And with this that I am explaining, I'm not saying that the pursuit of happiness is bad, okay? I'm not saying that looking for happiness is for just, it's because you're an ignorant and should, you should not be an ignorant. No, we are all ignorant because we are humans. We have a body and we need to eat, we need to sleep, we need to feel safe. So it's normal, it's, it's normal. We have a body, we, uh, we are here trying to understand the world, um, to survive in the world. So don't, don't, don't think that that thing is bad. Don't think that the pursuit of happiness now, it doesn't have any sense. No, 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 it's useful here in this reality as a human trying to survive in this reality. The thing is that um, we should not say that this is bad, that, that the ignorance uh, and the pursuit of happiness is bad. The only thing that we have to acknowledge about all this, this process is information. Information. The whole path of evolution is the path of taking shape, to be in shape, which is in form information okay so if you are not evolving if you don't realize that you need to change the way in which you eat you sleep you take care of yourself these three main um, needs will keep you constantly living in the past like in the same moment trying to survive each month <clears throat> so you are not information you are not informed you are just focused in three main needs. So in the last 300 years, thanks to the Industrial Revolution, we had for the first time in 300,000 uh, 300, years, just in the last 300 of all that amount of time, we had education. For the first time, we have schools. We created schools. So in this period of scholarization. What the system did was to bring all the kids that were used to, all the population of humans that were used to, to live for eating, to sleep, and to be safe, they took it into schools to feed them with data. So it was a kind of information. This was the mental information. So they would say, now we need to feed you of thoughts, of data, so you feel comfortable with what you know, so you feel safe taking decisions. So basically it's the three needs, but in a different level of consciousness. So in the last 300 years, the process of schooling was to teach kids how to assimilate information how to assimilate that from the outside, but all that data that it was put in the head of the people was from the outside and even from places where those kids could not relate. So a lot of that information was in books and they had no idea, no idea what it was for because it was not related with their lives. So here starts another process of information, which is when people start to repeat data, to mimic data. So they start to, come to behave like machines. So the process, the system of teaching, the system of schooling is a pyramidal structure that basically works with someone that knows and investigates on the top and gives that information to other people that make it more um, in pieces, then they teach it to the teachers, to the masters, and then it goes to the kids at school. The kids are not allowed to make questions. They are just um, there to receive the information from the one on the top. 
So by this system, during 300 years, the population of our civilizations were used to have only one source of truth. The scientist, the teacher, the media, the, the, <coughs> the communication media, the politician, the master, whatever. They are there, top of the hill. And that's the only one that you can trust. We have to understand this. We have to go to the origin of how the things are happening. Now we would say, well, that system is horrible, but it's not horrible. For that time, that was the only tool. It was the best way. There was no other tool to reach the information. So books were the only ones and, and those people, the, the teachers, the masters, everyone, with knowledge, were the only ones able to give that information to others. So it was perfect for that moment. It was the, the most useful system for people to reach the knowledge. This worked until the moment when the pyramid did this, and we call that internet. So in the last 50 years, what happened with the internet, you already know what's internet. Inter means between and net means network. So between networks, this means that suddenly you have not, you, you, you should not go or you don't have to go to the library or to the school to receive information. Now everyone from everywhere can go and look for the information, but also you can upload information. This is something really new. So now picture this, that what in the last 50 years has changed the last 300 years, the last 300 years changed the 300,000 years. And in the last five years, we changed the past 50 years. It's been so fast. So in the, in the past five years, internet stopped being a place where you upload information to inform yourself, so to shape yourself, to grow. And in the last five years, what people start to do is just upload information, but without the process of information. You know what I mean? Just data. In the last period of time, there was maybe a thousand people that uploaded information to the network for around 7 billion people in the world. But now, 7 billion people in the world are uploading information for 8 billion people in the world. So it creates distortion because what we all are uploading basically is perceptions, ideas, uh, prejudgments of information, but not the truth, not only one information. We upload so much information and most of it are just perceptions of our reality, but not the reality itself. And in the internet, it becomes data, information, itself. So this is why we create confusion, because information stops being information, real information, and just starts to be point of views that we believe they are true. So by this, I'm not saying that people is uploading lies, but we are so many people, thousands and billions of people, that we are uploading our own truth, that we have the, po the possibility to create our own truth, to share our own truth, that suddenly we have so many truths that we don't know what is a lie. So this is why we are living in the most over-informated over -informated times. And this is why we have a lack of information. So basically, uh, one of the things that happened with this is that so much confusion creates confusion within. And this makes us feel 
we cannot trust anything outside. So this takes us to this idea that if everything that is outside, I cannot trust because everything can be a lie. So what the only way I can find the truth is going within, inside. I don't know if you have noticed this, but as bigger is the confusion in the outer world with all the chaos of information, most of the people start to awake to the inner self. Most of the people are starting to wonder about the inner truth. For sure you have noticed this in the world. And basically this is happening because we have so much confusion in the outer world that we have to look for the inner world. So these conflicts that we are living with, the confusion that we have in our societies today, is being used by the system of light, by the system of consciousness, to bring evolution. We have this need uh, of uh, believing, okay, because we, we are looking for the information into the outside. But imagine that even myself, what I am explaining right now, and I have been explaining all the time here, uh, it's just my perception, it's just my point of view. So you don't have to believe what I'm saying because it's not the truth. What I'm saying is not the truth. What I'm saying is just my point of view of my memories of everything that I have within that I am sharing here, but it's not the truth. <clears throat> so the spirit, the higher self used to say, if it's not practical for your life, then it doesn't work. It's not useful. If it's not useful, it's not practical. So you don't need it. It's just confusion. So imagine, imagine that tomorrow I decide to say to all of you that everything that I have been saying to you about my past lives, that my other dimension realities and memories, all of that is, is a lie. Everything is a lie. I, I invented it. I fake it. It's all, it's all an invention. Imagine if I do that. What would happen? What would happen? What would happen with all the things that were useful for you? You will also take them away? So this is the thing. Are all the things that I am giving to you useful for your life? Maybe some of the things, maybe some not. So if it's useful, you take it. It doesn't matter if it's a lie. If it's useful for your life and it helps you to make good. So there's no problem with the perception. So the, the best and, and the best example that we will have is, for example, some people read I don't know, as, uh, as a book of Jules Verne. Um, some people watch some movie of Marvel, DC, I don't know. So you see these superheroes or, or these stories, um, <coughs> amazing stories. And a lot of people, they find the potential because of those stories. And all those stories are a lie. They, it, it doesn't exist. It's just a story. It's just a perception invented by someone that wrote everything. But even though a lot of people get inspired by that and they do good things, they create things because of stories. So is that illusion something wrong? Is that confusion something wrong? No. So you can take from all the things that you can see or you can perceive as a lie, you can take good things from that. Basically, what we have to do is not to look for the truth. A lot of people is looking, what is the truth? What is the real truth? And the truth is that there is no absolute truth. Basically, you cannot believe anything. It's, it's impossible. Now you have so much information that you will, you will lose a lot of, try, of, of time trying to figure what is the real truth. So the only way how you will recognize a truth is by it's practical. If, it's, if it is practical and coherent and 
harmonious with the environment. So that's good. It's practical. This is the new time. The new time would be about what is useful, what is practical. Because now, in the times of Confucian, we will lost a lot of time trying to figure what is truth and what is not. So the new spirituality in Aquarius times is about what is practical. That would be. So let's go to the information for today. The vibration for today is Mu. The statement for today is I am the expansion of matrix. The code for today is love. The last universal law is about love, whose meaning is eternity. This means that none of the other laws has an end. And that one is the being and and that and that none of the beings that lives through them will be left behind, nor will be running ahead of them. For all the processes are accepted with the same unconditionality. For this reason, we say that God, the universe, is love, for all the laws originate from it. They are not external mandates, but free tools that if we lovingly learn to use, we will create our own universe. Not the music from outside. Sit comfortable. We begin to move our shoulders in circles. So we relax the back. So we start to let all the weight of our body to fall down, relaxing, closing your eyes, and just focusing in our breathing. Take a deep breath, feeling the light around you and how it goes deep through your skin to your bones, muscles and organs. I feel, I perceive. light inside of me and the light outside of me as I become the light itself.
I am. I am my higher self. The light that goes within my body through the crown, with her eye, throat, heart, plexus, sacrum, root, knees, and ankles. Within my body, I say to myself that I desire, that I desire to transcend my confusion, to keep going with my process of information. Take a deep breath and get out from your feet, going through the crust of the planet, through the rocks, roots, feeling the pressure and the heat of the magma as you go faster and deeper to the core of iron in planet Earth. I recognize in the core of the world the questions that create my life. Who? Why? What for? Where? How? When? All these questions I made to myself. Without expecting any answer, I just recognize them as the tools from the confusion to find the information. I feel the pressure of all the questions of my existence and I calibrate them with my vibration. I am the expansion of the matrix. I am the expansion of the matrix. I am the expansion of the matrix.
by and matrix. I am your creator. I am your trump. You live trapped in me. Until the day you become me. I am the net. I am the net of networks. I am the net of consciousness. You will live trapped in my web. More and more you will be as much strength you make to escape from me. For you cannot escape of what you are. I am the net of networks. Become me and you will be free.
coming back here and now by opening your eyes and stretching your body. Thank you everybody for being there. Um, so, thank you everybody for being there and as always, see you tomorrow at the same time for the root chakra, I guess. <laughs> Just to let you know, the the energy that came with the weaver, the network, the energy that I used to work with. One of the gifts that she usually shares is that, that in order to set ourselves free from the network, we have to become the network because basically everything that exists in the universe is a link of connections between things is all that exists the links so when you become the links you become everything synopsis and basically what she did is to show the tissue between many people thank you for being there See you tomorrow. Bye.